cops, cops, cops. We gotta get out of here without the cops that are surrounding this place seeing us. What's up, guys? It's Sam and Colby. Today we are in New York City. Yeah, we are. Well, actually, not really the city, but we're about an hour outside of the city at this place called, what is it, Creedmoor? Creedmoor. Creedmoor Psychiatric Center. Now, here's the main hospital right behind us, and this is actually still working. Yes, as usual, there are a bunch of people everywhere, employees everywhere, people checking the perimeter and stuff like that, so we have to be quick about this. There's even signs literally at the front of it saying we're watching for suspicious activities, so. That's us, we're That's the us. suspicious activity. But before we start really quick, we just wanted to give our condolences out to the channel High on Life. We know that three of their members passed away. Whenever this video is coming out, it might have been like a few weeks ago, but kind of hit home for us because we preach the same things of like spreading positivity, taking chances, seeing the world. Just always want to remind you guys to be careful and be super cautious when you're out there doing risky things in life. We didn't know them really personally, but they did the same things, preached the same stuff, and they were out living a crazy life. Hey, you know, died doing what they love, but like very sad at the same time. Guys, we were literally dropped off on an Uber at the front of the hospital. It's just like, why are you guys going here? We're like, visiting a relative. <laughs> That's it, 100%. That's it. Look at the kitty. Hey, kitty, how the heck do we get in here? Dude, there's multiple kitties. <laughs> oh, sh there's a kitty right there. Every review, the only thing we really know about this place is that it's heavily watched by the neighbors. They hate people going in here. And we have a tour tomorrow so we cannot get caught by the police. Oh uh, yeah, so it would not be good. Part of the hospital right here was closed in 1980, so it's been closed for like 40 years. This place held like seven to 10,000 patients at its prime, so it's huge. It's fenced off everywhere, as you can see at those pillars right there. But I just have no idea how we're gonna get across, bro. <laughs> We really didn't want to go into the neighborhood, but look where we are. Into the neighborhood. So this is a bad place to be. It's, it's the only place we could have gone. Right now we look like two kids going to school. Yeah, we got the backpacks and everything. We look like we're middle schoolers, kind of. We made it into the complex. However, there are a ton of cars going back and forth in and out of this like area. For example, um, we got cars like that, as well as these things that look like security trucks. It looks like half the buildings are still open to the public right now. Yeah, but we did get in. We are away from the neighborhood. So as long as we can just run in and hide, we should be fine. And there's kitties there. And there's kitties, so it's obviously still in function. Oh my god, there's like five pussies. Holy crap. Dying a pizza, dude. Ding, 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 ding. Go, 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 go. Perfectly broken fence, thank you. Let's go. It's wet, dude. I didn't need to do that. There was a freaking street right there. No big deal. Trying to get in here. All the windows are boarded up. We don't have all that much time. Oh, it's loud, but it will work. Okay, that's all you need, really. Right here? Yeah, put, put the block underneath it. This car, this car. Okay. Ooh. There was a car right outside in that parking lot right there. That's why I had to duck down. Oh shoot, okay. This is probably asbestos city in here. It's the biggest building by far out of every place. So I'm glad we got in here. Who would have thought to open up a freaking concrete pillar and then open up the garage style door? Like dang, good job, dude. Been doing this for a long time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you want this one? Sure. Okay. You always like the big black ones. Huh? First sight, you can see a bunch of little tables, cabinets, everything, but it's completely destroyed. The ceiling is collapsing, dude. Wow. This is not good. No yeah. wonder it's trespassing yeah, or forbidden. Tell everybody not to come in here because it could collapse at any second. So don't kick any walls. That's what we're trying to say. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what the heck? Printers and laundry? Dude, what was this place? Where's like the freaking patient rooms and stuff? I know. Whoa, what? Dude, look at this. That's, That's a creepy, creepy painting. That is really creepy. So what, are we gonna use this ladder to get to the next floor? Uh, yeah. Or the staircase. One of the two. There's so many noises. Oh, nice. Okay. Here we go, baby. Oh my god. Dude, something about this hospital is so much more freaky than the other ones. Real talk, what, what was that? Literally sounded like, shh, shh, shh. I don't know 
that caught on camera because we're not using the mic. But like right as we went over to the stairs, almost like a cry. Yeah, it was like a breathing. I don't know about this place, dude. We don't have any weapons on us or anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Unless they know. Cops, cops, right there, cops, right cops, cops. We just went across the main street. Honestly, I think we're fine right now. We just gotta be what, like... What if that sound was an alarm? When we walked in there? Yeah. Do you want to walk around for a second? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just getting a bad feeling about this. And the fact that those cops just passed right there. This is also a hospital, so cops are gonna be in and out here all the time. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. We can take a break for a second. Come, come back. We can just walk down the hallway, like really quietly on the other side. Let's go back in. But that scared the crap out of me. That there's like that, those noises. I do think someone else is in here. Me too. Game's plan is we're gonna walk the opposite direction down this scary hallway. Hopefully, we can keep exploring this place without getting killed. Honestly, just because that happened, it made this place like ten times scarier. Yeah, did, did you hear that too? Yeah. That whistle. Uh huh. It sounds like an owl. Explore stickers already been placed. Oh. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie, this place is really cool, but like, creepy as hell. Right before we went on this trip, we're like, hey, let's try to make some more happy videos because we've been super suspenseful or scary. And we just broke into a jail. And, yeah, we just broke into a jail, so we need to lay it low a little bit. This is horrifying. Oh my god, it looks like anybody could be living in here. That's what freaks me the hell out. Imagine you look down that hole. I'm scared, dude. This is not cool. No one would sleep in here during the day with the lights off. So unless we see someone with a flashlight, there's probably not homeless people. Unless we get to the light area where you can see without a flashlight. I don't think we should be scared in the dark. That's what I'm trying to say. Thanks for saying that, Sam. <laughs> One thing I've noticed is sometimes we just assume things. I just want to tell the audience that, like, Colby and I don't know everything about every abandoned place that we explore. So if you guys have information, correct us, guys. So we're going back to the same staircase where we heard the scary noises right in there. We're gonna be quiet until we get up the stairs. Everyone always makes fun of me for always saying hello, yelling out into like a dark area. Right. My thing is I would rather someone start yelling back at me or start moving a hundred feet away from me than sneak up on them and see them right in person, you know? If they're a dangerous person, and if we sneak, we can get past them, but if you yell, then they know we're here 100%. I feel like if you're in a quiet place, no matter what, they're gonna hear you. The last time we heard, he was literally across this corner, so... That's what I'm saying, if we make a lot of noise walking, it might be a better idea. In a sense of, like, if he doesn't want us here, he'll start making a bunch of noise back. So, you see that very first door right there? Yeah. That's where the staircase is. Dude, shoot. Is that weird? I'm... You, you heard that, right? Dude, there's definitely something 100% in there. So we should find a different way. That would be a smart thing to do.
in the middle of this place right now. There's one more story. And there's no way we can get on the roof. So should we get to the third story just to say we did it? Let's do it. Okay, let's go. That is so cool. That little chair. Yeah. It looks like a city. There's a bunch of chairs and school desk. You heard that, you heard that, you heard that. Let's go, let's go to the top, to the top. Okay, we're at the top now. This is smart. If there's all these noises, should we just leave or like what? Do you want to see this last room and then we get out of here? Because I literally just thought I saw that move. Let's go, let's go, let's just go. this explore sticker on the entrance that we used so if you guys want to come explore this you guys feel safe you can do it we were up there just two seconds ago in that room that's where we heard all the noises so be careful if you do come here we got to get out of here without the cops that are surrounding this place seeing us we have a long way to go because we don't have a car to go to oh god okay literally a car right there we should just be uh, acting out for on our phone yes no we're just hiding trying not to look suspicious he didn't even look i saw the driver he didn't even look okay, we're fine whoever suggested this to me when i freaking did that instagram dm and asked where the heck to go thank you so much because i got this probably at least 50 times and it was worth it i, I would recommend people go explore this place if they have a group of like five yeah <laughs> be cautious we made it out alive. Don't worry, guys. There was actually a lot of security as we were walking out, but it's all good. We made it out anyways. Put the cement block back where it was, and yeah, we're good. We are literally gonna be traveling so much. Like next week, we're gonna be in Boston. The week after that, we're gonna be in New York. The week after that, we're gonna be in the Bahamas. What? When? On our on our cruise. This is coming out. I forgot after about the that. Yes. We're gonna be everywhere. This job is so freaking cool. Like it's you guys. Awesome allowed us to like explore this whole world it's all so, because of you guys thank you very much for all that and supporting the channel make sure to subscribe get the new xplr merch and stuff like that all that will be in the description below comment down your favorite parts or if you have any suggestions of where we should go next and we'll see you guys next week so adios